The ground state of a quantum mechanical system is its lowest energy state. The energy of the ground state is known as the zero point energy of the system. An excited state is any state with energy greater than the ground state. In the quantum field theory, the ground state is usually called the vacuum state or the vacuum. If more than one ground state exists, they are said to be degenerate. Many systems have degenerate ground states. Degeneracy occurs whenever there exists a unitary operator that acts non-trivially on a ground state and commutes with the Hamiltonian of the system. According to the third law of thermodynamics, a system at absolute zero temperature exists in its ground state, thus, its entropy is determined by the degeneracy of the ground state. Many systems, such as a perfect crystal lattice, have a unique ground state and therefore have zero entropy at absolute zero. It is also possible for the highest excited state to have absolute zero temperature for systems that exhibit negative temperature. <laughs> ground state has no nodes in one dimension. In one dimension, the ground state of the Schrödinger equation can be proven to have no nodes. Consider the average energy of a state with a node at x. Topic zero, i.e. psi zero. Zero. The average energy in this state would be psi h psi equals d. X minus two two M psi D two psi D X two plus V X psi X two Display style Langle psi H psi wrangle equals int DX left FRAC H B A R carrot two two meters psi carrot asterisk FRAC D carrot two psi DX carrot two plus V X psi X carrot two right where V X is the potential. Now consider a small interval around X equals zero Display style X equals zero i.e. x element of minus e e display style x in epsilon epsilon take a new deformed wave function psi x to be defined as psi x equals psi x display style psi x equals psi x for x minus e display style x and psi x equals minus psi x display style psi x equals psi x for x greater than e display style x greater than epsilon and constant for x element of minus e e display style x in epsilon epsilon if e display style epsilon is small enough this is always possible to do so that psi x is continuous assuming psi x approximately equals minus cx display style psi x approximately cx around x equals 0 display style x equals 0 one may write psi x equals n psi x x greater than e c e x e display style psi x equals n begin cases psi x and x greater than epsilon c epsilon and x leq epsilon end cases where n equals 1 1 Plus four three C two E three display style N equals FRAC one SQRT one plus FRAC four three C carrot two epsilon carrot three is the norm. Note that the kinetic energy density d psi dx two d psi dx two display style left FRAC d psi dx right carrot two everywhere because of the normalization. More significantly, the average kinetic energy is lowered by O e display style O epsilon by the deformation to psi. Now, consider the potential energy. For definiteness, let us choose V x 0 display style V x geq 0. Then it is clear that outside the interval x element of minus e e display style x in epsilon epsilon the potential energy density is smaller for the psi because psi psi display style psi there. On the other hand, in the interval x element of minus e e display style x in epsilon epsilon, we have v a v g e equals 
minus e e d x v x psi two equals e two c two one plus four three c two e three minus e e d x v x two e three c two v zero plus Display style v underscore text a v g caret epsilon equals int underscore epsilon caret epsilon d x v x psi caret two equals frac epsilon caret two c caret two one plus frac four three c caret two epsilon caret three int underscore epsilon caret epsilon d x v x semi two epsilon caret three c caret two v zero plus c d o t s which holds to order e3 display style epsilon caret 3 however the contribution to the potential energy from this region for the state psi with a node is v a v g e equals minus e e d x v x psi 2 equals C two minus E E D X X two V X two three E three C two V zero plus Display style v underscore text a v g caret epsilon equals in underscore epsilon caret epsilon d x v x psi caret two equals c caret two in underscore epsilon caret epsilon d x x caret two v x semi frac two three epsilon caret three c caret two v zero plus c d o t s lower but still of the same lower order o e three Display style o epsilon caret three. As for the deformed state psi, and subdominant to the lowering of the average kinetic energy. Therefore, the potential energy is unchanged up to order e two. Display style epsilon caret two. If we deform the state psi. Display style psi. With a node into a state psi without a node, and the change can be ignored. We can therefore remove all nodes and reduce the energy by O E displaystyle O epsilon, which implies that psi cannot be the ground state. Thus the ground state wave function cannot have a node. This completes the proof. The average energy may then be further lowered by eliminating undulations, to the variational absolute minimum. Examples. <laughs> <laughs> The wave function of the ground state of a particle in a one-dimensional box is a half-period sine wave, which goes to zero at the two edges of the well. The energy of the particle is given by h 2 n 2 8 m l 2 Display style frac h 2 n 2 8 milliliters 2 where h is the Planck constant, m is the mass of the particle, n is the energy state n equals 1 corresponds to the ground state energy, and l is the width of the well. The wave function of the ground state of a hydrogen atom is a spherically symmetric distribution centered on the nucleus, which is largest at the center and reduces exponentially at larger distances. The electron is most likely to be found at a distance from the nucleus equal to the Bohr radius. This function is known as the one's atomic orbital. For hydrogen H, an electron in the ground state has energy minus 13.6 electron volts, relative to the ionization threshold. In other words, 13.6 electron volts is the energy input required for the electron to no longer be bound to the atom. 
The exact definition of one second of time since 1997 has been the duration of 9,192,631,770 periods of the radiation corresponding to the transition between the two hyperfine levels of the ground state of the cesium-133 atom at rest at a temperature of 0 K. Notes Bibliography Feynman, Richard, Leighton, Robert, Sands, Matthew See Section 2–5 for Energy Levels, 19 for the Hydrogen Atom. The Feynman Lectures on Physics, 3. 